What's good everybody? Welcome to your daily PSA. The Black Nerd Speaks. Sorry I did not make no video yesterday because I was busy. Busy getting busy. But for real, I was getting busy. Like. But anyway, that's for the second channel. What's good y'all? I hope everybody had a great weekend and all that good stuff. You know, I was fucking on bullshitting last night on Twitter. You know, about Sungri's Twitter. You know, I was having doubts, suspicious doubts, thinking that his shit wasn't real, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? Okay, move the fuck on. It ain't real. But I did get pissed off when motherfuckers was coming at me talking about how you fuck, you know, this real. Don't ever fucking question my fucking suspicions about shit. If you sit there and read shit long enough, like read it, you know what I'm saying? It, it You will get suspicious doubts. Because I was like, how the fuck are I going to sit there all day tweeting on fucking Twitter like this and fucking sell it that you know you can get off fucking Google? I was like, this shit is just so fucking fake. But then, you know, I start looking at my Twitter for a little bit more. I'm like, okay, it's real. It seems legit. It seems legit. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you always got to have, like, your suspicions of it. Just when so shit is like, phony as fuck, just always make sure to keep your eye open. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers talking about, oh, this is real. And then motherfuckers talk, want to get smart talking about, oh, now folks want to say the validity. What the fuck? The validity of his fucking, um... Twitter, what the fuck that's supposed to mean? Sit down. Yeah, you got this like the most fucking smart ass, like rude ass motherfucking people. For real. Like you need to fucking open up your eyes and learn how to read. Like, like Miss Nene Leak said from Real Housewives of Atlanta, you best to read. And that's what I do. I read, folks. I have to look up and down. Okay. And if you don't like what the fuck I said, you can exit the premises that way. But fortunately, his Twitter is real. And that's a good thing. So I can now go back and fuck with him on Twitter like I was doing beforehand. Because trust me, believe me, I'm going to mess with him very bad. Usually I don't like talk to like anybody else on Twitter like that. Like YouTube, Twitter, the celebrity idols, whatever on Twitter. I don't like say hey to him like that. But this, this is funny. It's about to get straight up ratchet. And since he's a baby, this is going to be fun. You just wait. Gigi's going to take his phone away from him and YG is going to beat him. But that's enough of that. Bam, okay. Y'all, I'm gonna talk about something for a moment. No, I really don't talk about like, you know, I'm always keeping up on the K pop world and stuff, and I do talk about C pop every once in a while. Let's talk about this J pop situation now. Um, my can go to from morning, um, she used to be a former mentor of morning, um, Musumi, uh, Musumi, yeah, morning Musumi, a very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman. You know, her both her parents passed away. You know, her father felt like got killed while mountaineering. Her mama fell, fit, she fell too. Like she, they they didn't want to rule a death as suicide, but she was drunk and she fell off a building. Brother had some legal troubles. She just been through some shit. But very beautiful woman. But y'all know, homegirl got paid a oh, million dollars to do some hardcore films. I'm talking about some porn, some skin flicks, y'all. And some folks are like, oh my gosh, she got bribed, this thing. No, no. I don't have a problem with her doing that. She has to get her ends how she can get them. Very beautiful woman. I know some people are like, oh, that's just morally wrong for her to do. What the fuck is morally wrong with it? Everybody in this world fucks. Like Kurt Cobain said, nobody in this world dies a virgin because we all are fucked eventually. So what the fuck is wrong with it? She's trying to get her ends and hustle just like everybody fucking else. So what the fuck, fuck is wrong with her going out, you know, getting her back <laughs> beat up, you know what I'm saying? Getting her some dome for a couple million dollars. What the fuck's wrong with that? Shit. I mean, damn. <laughs> hey. Same shit up over here. Bitch, you know, does a little, you know, side work with Playboy and get her a couple million dollars. That's how it is. And, you know, I'm like, she's a grown-ass woman. She wants to fucking do it. The fuck, let her do it. I mean, I don't think her past ain't got nothing to do with her doing this shit. I think if she wants to do it, hey, let, let her do it. I mean, she's pretty. Her body is banging, so, hey, do it. I mean, just let me know when these videos come out so I can watch them. What? I mean, y'all act like y'all don't watch shit like that. Don't even sit here in front because you probably do. And when that shit comes out, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to observe. I'm going to read that. 
I've seen Japanese porn before. It's pretty good though, but they got that shit blurred out. <laughs> Don't even sit here and judge for real, because everybody is bad one way or the other. And Scorpios are freaks. Yes, we are. I've seen that shit's like blurred out and everything. I'm like, why y'all gonna blur that out? But anyway, I have no problem with her doing this. I mean, I'm not gonna even go judge her because she's just trying to get her ends and hustle like everybody else. I, eh. <laughs> Girl, just just do it. Um, this y'all know the cover of Glee. Glee did the cover of Gangnam Style, and y'all. I'm going to put the link right here. Y'all, them comments is horrendous. And also, the fucking, like, dislikes on that shit is straight up balls ass deep. I will swipe. I'm not even going to say nothing. This is just, ooh. <laughs> A lot of folks don't like Glee anyway. I'm one of them. But I thought it was cool that they're inspired by side to do this. But at the same time, I thought it was kind of fucked up that people are like, hey, don't do that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, also, um, this morning I saw an old 70 year old man jogging this morning with no drawers on, balls hanging out and everything. And when he did a stretch, a dick just came out. I was like, it looked like a snuffleupagus was just looking at me. I don't know what the fuck that was. Scurred me to death. Jesus almighty help me. But anyway, I got to go. Send in your questions. Send in your questions tomorrow for Ask the Black Noon. And is anybody celebrating, um... Yeah, everybody killed the Indians day, so let's eat turkey day on Thursday. Anybody? Hmm? Oh, Algie, you're so politically incorrect. What the fuck? Let me tell you something. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. All us sit down and eat the turkey and the dressing and all that stuff. I like my turkey and my dressing, but come on. If you think about it, that's not the reason why Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. And yes, let's keep like brainwashing our kids through these history books and letting them think that this is why thanksgiving is the way it is they have a picture of the pilgrims eating so peacefully with the indians half of it's true but half of it is not true yes the indians were like oh come over let's just get along and stuff but then all of a sudden after that let's see the pilfering the raping and the killing and the spreading of the disease began to happen and then it just went downhill from that so yeah that's why it's called kill the Indians, rape them, steal their land, spread disease, and also pretend like it's okay to eat turkey day. That's what I call it. Probably going, Algy, you're a hater. No, I'm not. I'm just expressing and telling the truth. That's what it is. But unfortunately, in our history books that are being taught to our children, that's what it is. Just to keep them, you know, like, hey, this is what they give about. Kids, that's not, that's not what it's about, okay? Yeah, but anyway... <laughs> I don't know, like, how do you, why could you say something like that? I read a lot and I read and I take forth, but it's to each his own. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, be, you know, it does teach us to be thankful for what we have and for our families and just to be together and you know, on fellowship and, you know, just eat and be around our families. But at the same time, it's just like... How can we eat when, like, all this shit happened with the Indians? It's just pretty, like, gruesome at the same time. Like, how can I eat this food and enjoy it when lots of people died over it? So, you know, double-edged war thing. Anyway, I'm going so deep into this, but I love you guys, and i talk to you later. Send me your questions in um, for tomorrow for the Ask the Black Nutter Corner. I'll be happy to answer them. I have no videos Thursday. Probably, if I do, I'm going to be, like, so fucking, like, full of fucking turkey and beer. So yeah, I got to go. Talk to you later. Love, peace, increase it. I love you guys. Bye.